battle how do you make the best build in nba 2k20 here's the thing there's five different ways you can make this build in 2k20 point guard shooting guard small forward center power forward you can make this build any any position so if you want to look into make a guard you can make it a forward you can do it a center have at it so first off we're gonna start with the point guard position now in order to make the best build in the game you obviously have to pick the, the full shooting pie chart you always pick the speed pie chart no matter what you hear or say you pick the speed pie chart if you want to make the best build in the game now first off you want to put all of your shooting up to at least get the 30 put your playmaking up and put your defense maxed out so you get max defensive badges with 11 defensive badges you'll be able to play defense against centers guards really anybody Put your playmaking to at least that. So if you want 50, you could get 15 badges if you want. You could possibly do that. That could be the best option. But if you want to expand your horizons, you can also give yourself 13 playmaking, which is still reasonable. You can dunk with a 40 driving dunk. Lay layups, you really don't even need your layups high. It's not necessary. So I'd say do this if you're looking to make this build at the point guard. Built or define would be your best bet. Don't make this build at the point guard shorter than 6'4. Make them 6'4 or 6'5. Make them around like 180, 180. You want, you want to get the acceleration higher than the speed. And then put either your arm length minus one, leave it alone, or plus one. That's up to you. And then you have the two best takeovers in the game. Well, this one is up and coming, so to speak. But this one is the best takeover in the game. That's up to you which one you think that will be more effective to you. So this is how you make the point guard best build in NBA 2K20. In order to make the shooting guard, let's do it like same same thing. Speed pie chart. All of your shooting up till you get to at least 30. Put your playmaking up. Get at least 12 playmaking for shooting guard. Now let's put the whole defense up. So you only get nine defensive badges at the shooting guard. This build is still efficient at shooting guard, but your best bet if you want to make this build would be at the point guard. So now we have like 37 badges. So if you want, you could do the same. You can get 15 playmaking still or 14. But for now, we're going to go with 13. We don't really need this build. You're really not going to need post moves all that much. So if you guys still want to dunk, get the 40 dunk. And then I suggest shot close because layups is kind of useless as a sharp. Because layups, it, it doesn't even matter if your layups are even higher. As long as you have the badges, that's what the layups really matters. And since you only have one finishing, it, it, there's no point in even putting your driving layup up. Like I said, build or define. For this dude, don't make him taller than 6'7". Make him 6'6", six, six, or 6'5", six, at the shooting guard. That's completely up to you. He'll be more efficient, like faster and better shooting at 6'5", but at 6'6", six, six, his defense will be a lot greater. Make him around 200 pounds. And then again, minus one plus one, minus one plus one, or we leave it alone. And this is how you get the best build in NBA 2K20 at the shooting guard. 
at the small forward could rival the point guard at the at best position just because of how tall and lengthy your build can be. So obviously we got to make 30, 30 shooting. 30 shooting. Put the playmaking as up seven badges. Now, like I said, unfortunately with this, with the, with the best build in the game, your defense, I know a lot of people who probably watch this video doesn't even play a lot of defense, but when making this build, there we go. Get like 10 playmaking. And I'd say if you want, you could put your dunk up and then when you get to 99, you could get to possibly 40. But for now, this build is made for post scores as more than like just shooting and shot creating this could be your post scoring build because of how good your po your mid range shot is and your post fade is a 94 you'll be very deadly and efficient from the post fade as long as you put your badges right but for this we're probably gonna do shot close max that out and then like i said built or defined i'd say go with either one now for this dude I would tell you guys, if you want, you can go 6'9", if you want to be a catch and shooter. If, you, if you're planning to not dribble at all, go 6'9". If you are want to dribble a little bit, just to dick around or just because you want to be that second option, put yourself 6'7", or 6'8". The thing is 6'7", you'll get pro dribble moves. At 6'8", you won't, but your length is better because now you can shoot over people. And your defense is a little bit better. So go like what, 220, 230? Go one of them. Yeah, like 220. Like I said, minus one, plus one, go minus one. Now you see, we made this build different. He can get playmaking takeover instead of shot creating. But here's the thing, we can go back. If we say, fuck slashing all together and do this hold up we need to put the defense down too and we put 14 playmaking and then the shot close up now it changes the post takeover so now if you want to be a post scorer like Kevin Durant Kobe Bryant and people like that you might want to go with this takeover and the attributes that I put in but if you still want to do be a spot-up shooter and you know have catch and, like, catch and shoot standing shots and shoot 100% splendid people in phases which you can do with both badges as long as you're able to time your post fades it'd be one hell of a combination so we'll go with post takeover for this and this is how you make the best build in the game at the small fold. Now, stretch bigs, they, they've been in the gutter for far too long. And I ran across pretty amazing stretch bigs, like from playing Park and Rec. They they can shoot lights out. And it's actually kind of like amazing how like efficient that they can do it. But we're going to put these badges, playmaking, it's going to not be, like I said, unfortunately, your defense does not get better as much as you upgrade, which does, you know, it does us, you know, the best builds in a game really dirty. But this build, you, if you want, you could put your dunk up. You could get even more playmaking badges if you want. 14, you get 14 playmaking badges. 14. You get post fade with this build. You can shoot deep threes with this build. You can shoot 100 different smothers with this build. But if you want to slash, I'd say put this down. Because you need at least 40 dunks. Somewhere in that range. You can get to 99 and get to 40 dunks. Stretch big, and you still get what? Seven, eight defensive badges? Seven, yeah. Yeah, you only get 
70. I don't recommend this build at the 5 or the 3 or the 1. Unless you have a 2 rate, you can like help you out. But this is still a good build. You could do something like that. Or, since you're probably never going to be playing, like, like dunking, I'd say probably put your, your driving dunk to 40. And then, like, your close shot to 60. I would say do that. Builder to 5. Make your dude 6'11 or 7 feet tall. For this, we're going to do 6'11. Make him, like, 250. Minus one wingspan. And now you get four takeovers. Sharpshooting, post scoring, rim protector, or playmaking. Like I said, it's completely up to you guys. But for the case of this video, we're gonna do it with a spot up shooter. And now you made the best build at the five, stretch five, LaMarcus Aldridge. I wanted to thank you guys. Thank you guys for you know watching the video, you know, learning about the secrets of how to make the best build in the game not only just the best shooter but the best build the most key build the build that you can fit into any lineup score the most points and i'll ultimately do the most so uh, excuse me but if you guys want to see more videos like this on how to make certain builds like in the game like builds that you shouldn't even make or builds that you want to make but don't know how to use your like your, your points wisely your badges wisely and you don't want to waste your money or your time grinding a build you know before like messing up let me know down in the comments and see like what builds i should make Shh, like those you should avoid and stuff like that but if you do have any questions or if you guys want to confront me about oh this is not the best build or by any means or blah 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 let me know down in the comments and i'll you know simply but surely tell you why you're wrong or you can try to convince me why you could possibly be right in your own way. But ultimately, you'll still be wrong at the end of the day. But like I said, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It definitely means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next video.